we look smarter than all of the other traders and investors, but we are not really and we don't care. We just care about making money. Let's look at what happened in the stock market today. Tesla is up $2.96, 1.25%, closed at 240.45. Post market, we are down by 25 cents. Let's look at what we have here on the chart. We are still into our main downward channel. You see it, the big downward channel coming down. And we have a steeper downward channel that we got outside of recently, but came back in for a few days. But now we are back outside of it. It looks like this is behaving like a support. And also another point of note is that we have not gone back as low as 226.85 right here, 226.85. We used that area as support. We had some buyers coming in exactly at that price point. But right now, it seems like we want to be rebounding a little bit higher. So this is an indication that we have some bullishness into this after uh, last week that was pretty much bearish it seems like we want to rebound just right here so in this case when you see a rebound happening we see that we stopped close to 237.55 last wednesday thursday also broke it a little bit last friday and today we are coming back above it this is looking very much like a rebound when something like this happens you can switch on the one hour chart then start looking for buying opportunity, trading opportunity, just to catch a little bit of a swing. And in this case, in order to catch a swing, we need to make sure that we are outside of a downward channel, a downward resistance. So this would have been the downward resistance. So we are outside of that. So that's one good thing. Second thing that we need to look at is that we have stochastic over 60. We have that right here. So when the line is in the green area this is over 60 so this is this is the second sign that we are looking at and the third one that we don't have right now is that we need to break a horizontal resistance because the stock can get stuck the stock can get stuck into what we call a congestion zone two horizontal lines these are the two horizontal lines right here so once we are going to break 242.05 on the one hour chart, then this is going to be a full fledged buying signal. And then we can ride it until it stops. So it could stop at the first resistance, the second resistance. The first one is at 247. The second one is at 250. And the third one will be at around 260. We don't know, nobody knows. We can just hop in and take a ride. And when we are going to see some weakening, in terms of the stochastic getting lower than 60, the stock making a congestion zone a little bit right here and then breaking that support, then we can sell. So we don't know in advance, we don't need to know in advance, we can just ride, because nobody can predict the future. And But we can just see the patterns that are going to tell us that it's time to sell. That's it. We look smarter than all of the other traders and investors, but we are not really and we don't care. We just care about making money. So let's look at our other indicators. So back on the daily chart. So we don't have stochastic on the daily. MACD has crossed bearish. So this is why we have a green, a red thumb down. We have RSI below 50 and DMI is also bearish. Let's take a look at the VIX. So VIX has been climbing and climbing. We had stochastic over 60 not too long ago. Now stochastic is, is getting lower and we are now breaking the little bullish channel that we started to get into. So this is all great. This is all helping the stock market to go higher. So we like to see this. In terms of the bonds, bonds are a little bit lower. We also like this. We had a little bit of a move up right here, but this move up, did not have stochastic over 60. So what does this mean is that we should not have believed this move up. And based on today, it seems like we are maybe starting to come back down again. We like this. US dollar, this is just going sideways. We are still into our downward channel. So let's hope that we start caving in below 101.989. Again, look at stochastic right here. Stochastic is not above 60. So this move up, is not to be believed yet. 
So we hope that it is going to go down. If it starts to go sideways and then go higher, stochastic is going to go higher than 60. So this is going to give us more confidence that the move up is going to last and go further. Let's take a look at some of our EV stocks. After a big move down, Rivian is uh, stabilizing a little bit. We are up 2%. This is not the time to buy at all. We don't have stochastic and we don't have a horizontal resistance that we can see yet. We have a little bit of support right here, a two day support, but this is just too soon to get back in. Xpeng, uh, wow, okay. Xpeng, we had 1312 as the last resort support, but now it has just gone through. Don't touch that one yet. Neo, we broke uh, 819 and we also broke 791 temporarily during the day. So maybe we are going to bounce on it, but this is just too soon to call. Even on the one hour chart, I'm sure. Yeah. So even on the one hour chart, uh, stochastic is nowhere to be seen. So maybe above 819 if we start having stochastic again, but it's too soon to call on this one. VinFast, uh, we have lost uh, 733 and right now we are even going lower today. So we are at minus 3%. So we should not get back into that one. Okay, Apple. Apple, we have a big nice move today. This one is a little bit more complex. There are many things that are happening on this one. So we have the congestion zone that's right here. This is the congestion zone between 182.87 at the top and 170.58 at the bottom. This is the congestion zone. And we came and crossed it a little bit and bounced on it. With such a sudden move, there is risk there. You know, Stochastic is helping us not get into something that changes its mind really sharply like this. On the daily chart, there's no buy signal yet, even though we have this nice green candle. Let's look at the one hour chart. On the one hour chart, we had the buy signal right here at, at 10.30 today. At 10.30 today, we had a break of the horizontal resistance that uh, was ending at 182.87. So you could have gotten back in right there with the same criteria that I'm talking about in terms of the breaking a downward channel, then breaking the congestion zone, then stochastic over 60. We had that at 10.30 today. So uh, if you were watching that, then you are in the money right now. So good for you. But on the daily chart, there is no trade to be made yet. Arm came back to 64.89. We had lost stochastic and look at how strongly it went back up. 8.6%, super strong move up. We got back stochastic, so you know, arm is so strong that even though it's getting close to the bullish channel resistance it did not mine in the past it got away from the support right here the support was here it got away from support and stayed very close to the resistance so maybe in this case just for this one you can chance it and get into it and catch a little bit of a swing because the force is strong in that one Palantir, look at that. This is downward channel, so no time to buy yet. NVIDIA. NVIDIA, this is something special. We have been waiting for a long time. We have been waiting since August for NVIDIA to break 503.69. Look at this. It tried, it tried, it tried. Almost tried, and then boom, it broke it today. This is a buy impulse. This is what I call him buy impulse. There is a significant move in the market in one direction. And that move is not noise. When a stock is into a congestion zone, it's just noise. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. This is noise. When it goes significantly higher than the noise, then this becomes a signal. And uh, this is what we call a buy impulse. So this is a buy impulse right there. You do your own research, you make your own decisions, but I just got in it uh, this morning. Let's look at our stock indices. Yeah, Dow Jones uh, maintaining itself very well. S&P 500 also, it, it stabilized a little bit at 46.94. This is SPX. And now we are having a good day today. NASDAQ also a nice move up. So everything is in sync, uh, gold uh, doing nothing, silver doing nothing, 
Bitcoin, same thing with Bitcoin. Look at this, the same patterns. The same patterns happen all the time. This is just noise and boom, it breaks noise. You can get in. Ripple, this is weaker and weaker. It's pausing on 54 cents, but at least it's bouncing on 54 cents. Look at this. We stopped it. We stopped there on Friday and now we are bouncing on it. Maybe things are going to turn around. This is my point. This is still noise at this point because this is the congestion zone right here. So until we break 66, then it's still going to be noise, but it's at least interesting to see it start to come back up. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. If you want to, if you want to copy my lines on your trading view account, you can do so by becoming a member and you are going to be able to copy all of those lines. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.